everyone. Today we are going to be talking a little bit about our 4-H project workshop and sand painting. And like all of our 4-H project workshops, these projects once complete are eligible to be entered in the county and state fair. And we'll talk more here in a minute about what you need to do to get that entered. So sand painting um, is very closely tied to Native American culture and Native American ceremony. Um, Native Americans use this for religious rituals and ceremonies. Often a singer or a medicine man would conduct a healing or blessing and as that ceremony was going on, they would complete the sand art painting. Sand art is often the crucial element in these ceremonies that can last anywhere from two to nine days. Sand art is mostly well known as being very important in the ceremonies and religious rituals of the Navajo people. Um, the Navajo called these dry paintings or places where the gods come and go. They're used in ceremonies in which the gods help is requested for harvest and healing. And the figures in sand paintings are symbolic representations of different stories in the Navajo mythology and belief system. They depict objects like sacred mountains where the gods live or legendary visions or they illustrate dances or chants that are performed in the rituals um, in person there as well. For the Navajo, each part of the painting has meaning for the ceremony. The color of the sands, the repetition of lines, the abstract figures of the gods, all of that helps transport the observer. The designs change, repeat, and help tell the sacred stories of the Navajo people. Uh, typically, Navajo sand paintings are made in the mornings and early afternoons of the last days of the ceremony, and after the ceremony is complete and finished, the sand art is destroyed. Many non-Navajo people may also uh, do sand paintings, and a lot of times that's done to demonstrate the techniques used in these paintings outside of ceremonies. So what we're making today is a non-ceremonial sand painting, uh, and these are often done on particle board or plywood. And the overall design uses Navajo symbols in a respectful manner. Early sand paintings used colored sands, crushed rocks, charcoal, crushed flowers, pollen, and even cornmeal. These are just some examples of very intricate Navajo sand paintings um, to help preserve the culture. A lot of times artists uh, do these non-ceremonial paintings um, and preserve them in much the same way that we're going to do ours today. Although if yours is this intricate and detailed, you better be entering it in the county and state fair. Here's another example. And um, this one looks really similar to the style and the, the methods we're gonna use for ours, where they're drawing uh, in glue and sprinkling the sand, the colored sand on top of that glue. Start thinking about what kind of design you would like. This is my personal favorite because my husband and I love bears and I really love the uh, gradient colors that they use, the ombre colors uh, from the darks to the lights um, on the designs in the top corners and the blues on the bear. I really like the color choices here. So be thinking about what you know about art and complementary colors um, and how those go together or stand out. Be thinking about symmetry. So you'll notice in the top uh, top two corners, they have um, complementary designs to help make the painting symmetrical and pleasing to the eye. So be thinking about all those things you know about art as you pick your design. In the kit we included a few uh, example design options but feel free to make your own. Uh, you can sketch it out on paper, you can go online and find an image that you really like that really represents you as an artist and print that off and use that. Uh, really get creative. I do want to talk about how you can enter these in the fair. Um, if you are a senior 4-H member, meaning you're 14, age 14 and up, um, for the state fair, if you're if you're sand painting advances, you are required to include an artist statement. And I'd really love for you to have these at the county fair as well. It's just really interesting, and it helps our judge kind of get to know you as an artist and what um, what you're thinking and what you've learned with this project. So your artist statement should include the title, and you can make it whatever title you like and the medium, in this case, sand and glue, but if it's a painting, you know, maybe acrylic or oil paintings or pastels, uh, watercolor, anything like that, the medium is what you use to make your art. Your inspiration, um, so, you know, if you painted a flower, maybe you were just inspired because it was really pretty and you liked it, or you love bears, so you did the bear. 
um, the elements of art and design principles that you use. So those um, art design principles like repetition, how visual arts are part of history. So we talked about that with the Navajo culture and the ceremonies, um, how you use lines and shapes and colors and moods, any of that. And it doesn't have to be a lot. It can be a sentence or two. Um, what message you were trying to convey. And it, again, it doesn't have to be a lot. Uh, maybe you were just trying to convey your appreciation for the Navajo culture and the things that you learned. And then how this work represents you as an artist. So, you know, maybe it has your favorite color in it or it has a symbol or shape that you like. Uh, and, and again, this, this is just a couple sentences and it goes with your art uh, piece on the back just to give the judge a little more insight into you as an artist. So again, you can choose any design you like for your sand art. Uh, next, we'll have a quick video with step-by-step -step instructions that you can refer to as you complete the project. And then we'll begin our project. If you don't have a way to seal in the sand after everything is dried, uh, you can come by the office once your project is finished and we can seal it for you. Remember, these can be entered in the county and state fair. If you'd like to leave it with us uh, with your artist statement, once we seal it, uh, we will hang on to it for you and enter it in the county fair. All right, let's get started.